We will now start our description of Shimati Radharani's qualities. But before anything else, hearing about Shimati Radharani in the month of Kartik will bring us into another world, the world of Brindavan. Shimati Radharani is known in the Puranas as Radha Vrindavane Ravane. Radha rules the forest of Vrindavan. Her main quality, just like the quality of Krishna, is Madhurya, sweetness. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami says, Madhurya Bhagavata Sarya, the essence of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is sweetness. Shukadev Goswami has described these pastimes of Krishna throughout Srimad Bhagavatam. Hearing the descriptions, the devotees become mad with love of God. So the beginning of this list of 24 qualities or 25 qualities of Shrimati Radharani is her sweetness. The first six of these qualities are qualities that are related to her transcendental body. Bonamasi once uh, observed Radha and then came up with this description. Her eyes are more beautiful than the fresh blue lotus flowers. The splendor of her face surpasses a forest of blooming lotus flowers and the luster of her body defeats molten gold. All these descriptions of Radha's sweetness are descriptions of splendor, of effulgence. Um, why is this so? It is because in her heart there is love for Krishna to a superlative degree. It is love in the heart which makes a person effulgent, shiny, inspiring. So it is her Mahabhava for Krishna that brings out all these symptoms. It is only by love that Krishna is attracted. Once uh, Krishna came to the rescue of this most beautiful queen Rukmini. We remember that all the kings who were there had become so thunderstruck by seeing Rukmini's beauties that they fell from the back of their horses and elephants. At that time Krishna said to Garuda, O Garuda, please know that I am not attracted by beauty, not even the beauty of Rukmini. I am attracted by bhakti, by devotion. And this is what we find in Shimati Radharani. Therefore, from her beautiful form emanates Bhakti Devi, the goddess of devotion. She is in the heart of Radha. She is uh, the supreme blessings which all devotees want. We want a devotion. Thank you very much. I request you to turn to Shimati Radharani and pray for the blessings of Bhakti so that this month of Kartik won't be just rituals, a formality, but it will be a softening of the heart in Krishna consciousness. <laughs>